This spring, the Blood Horse visited tailor-made sales for a behind-the-scenes look at yearling sales prep. From January to July, we watched the yearlings' transformation by a process inspired by the late Joe Taylor's horsemanship. This week, we're focusing on foot care. You know, there's times of the year where the horse's coat is not ultra important. You know, if it's the middle of February, horse got a long shaggy coat, got a little rain rot, got whatever, it's not the end of the world. But the feet are important the whole time. If we look at the foot as the foundation for the horse being correct, having a really clean uh, path of flight with their foot, not towing in too much, not towing out too much. It all starts with the foot. If you do a good job with the foot, you have a foundation that the rest of the horse's limbs can, can grow properly from. We'll start between 10 and 14 days of age. Uh, one, to just get a good baseline on what their path of flight is, uh, what we may have to do, how hard we're gonna have to work on them, trim on them, and, and just follow. And it's really surprising at 14 days, just a brush of the rasp in one spot or the other and squaring up the toe, how much you can actually help and improve the path of flight of a baby. And, and why we look at them so early is you've only got 90 days to 120 days on their ankles before they set. And so you've got to really be aggressive those first 90 to 120 days because if the fetlocks are good, everything else works on a horse. But man, you have bad fetlocks. It's, it's not the best thing for the horse. So that's why you, we work and start so early on them at such a young age. If you get the fetlocks nice and straight, and even what we try to do is actually keep the fetlocks towed out. We know as the horse spreads in their chest, there's gonna be a lot of inward rotation uh, on the horse later on in life. To me at this age, it's almost a perfect horse. Both front toe out slight. See how he walks, he walks really clean through his knees. Sits in a little bit on the uh, in on his knees, just ever so slight. You prepare a horse through the year to get ready to either be a race horse or be a sale horse, which well, is kind of the same thing with their feet. You're preparing them wintertime, you don't do as much. Springtime starts coming on, you start doing more in the summertime. Then, you know, you're, you're, you're preparing that foot as the horse grows, the foot to grow with the horse. This right here, keeping their toes pulled back and their heels open so the foot will spread and get a nice big solid foot underneath them. But sometimes a yearling's foot needs more than routine maintenance. You can see where he's broke off his outside right here. So of course he is, he's shorter from the from middle of frog to the outside, middle of frog to inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a place a shoe on here, fill this up to the outside to support this broken off part of his foot and also improve his he toes in from where he's broken off on this outside. So by doing that, that'll improve his path of flight and help him from being so towed in. As far as hoof care, um, number one thing is trying to get the horse outside during their developing years as much as you can. Um, second thing you can do is have the right nutrition. You know, sometimes supplements, uh, biotin uh, can help, um, but really just feed a good balanced feed, good hay, good water. Number three, Go around your paddock and pick up all the rocks. When horses hit those rocks, it chips them up, breaks them up. Any correction you have that's helping the horse walk straight, you lose that. You get abscesses. Number four is find a good hoof paint that, you know, you can go to, you know, any tack and supply store and they can give you a good hoof paint. Get in there every day, pick those feet out, um, and paint all around the coronet band, paint on the bottom, the heels, the frog, everything. Here's the thing, if you've done your job in the first 90 to 120 days with your horse's fetlocks, you can take a nice deep breath. All you need to do is just take care of those feet, don't let them break up, and that horse is gonna be fine, typically until their yearling year. That's the main thing you're trying to do is just keep up the foundation you've built and don't, don't let it all go to waste by hitting a big rock out in the field or letting the toes get too long and then it breaks off. You got to just, you got to keep everything in balance. Of course, we all want them to be the perfect horse going into the arena or to the sales ring and, and uh, bring lots of money, you know, and if they're walking good and they're looking good, where well, they're going to, but that's not where it stops. I look at it from, like I said, when they're two weeks of age all the way through to we 16 months later down the road when we take them to the sale. I want them to go on and have a good sale, but I want them to have a good race record too.